Hey guys, welcome back to the next episode of The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Uh, in the last episode, we made our way back to Castletown and we got the Kinstone Bag. Um, we learned a new skill, the Spin Attack. Um, and we have made our way towards Mount Cornell's base. Um, this time we will be climbing Mount Cornell and um, making our way towards Milari. I don't know if we're going to make it all the way there yet, but, um, because climbing up Mount Cornell is rather long, but I realized, um, last episode I actually forgot to do something, so, um, uh, back to, I forgot to do something back in Castletown, so I will meet you over there and show you what it is. Alright guys, what I forgot to do was activate this, uh, statue thing here. So you just click on it and activate it. It's very important that you activate them as soon as you come across them, so. Uh, still rattles me, whatever. So I will meet you guys back um, at Mount Cornell's base. I can't quite recall if I've said it already, but um, I had um, a little bit of technical difficulties between this, uh, this episode and last episode. Um, if my rupee totals look different, or if my item equips look different, um, that's because the emulator, uh, crashed in between the episodes, and I did not, um, create a save state. Whoops. So, I had to redo everything. So. But we need to make our way up this thing, but we don't have a way to get up there yet. Oh, whoops. There we go. Okay. Alright. Okay, you got me. I'll make it up to you by telling you something good. <laughs> what? Now he's... Okay, let me fix that. A friend of mine in a cave south of Chilby Highlands is a handy tool. If you want to climb Mount Cornell, I suggest you go buy, buy it from him. Because that was the voice I gave the scripts in the beginning. Alright. So, we he's telling us we need to go over here. Um, if you go down this way, there's a ladder here. You go down the ladder. Bomb of a wall. Blow it up. And what do we got? Another Deku Scrub. Wow. Wow, my controller's not being kind to me today. There we go. There you go. Let's make it up to you. Okay. You can have this Mr. Lexaville bottles for only 20 rupees. So what do you say, huh? Yeah. So, the reason why we had to pick up those, the 20 rupees there, so we can buy the bottle. Um, <laughs> when I was playing this on my own, I didn't, I hadn't picked up the 20 rupees, so I went to the, the grass and the bushes trying to uh, grind for 20 rupees, when I could have just picked up the 20 rupees there. So. It's definitely much easier to do it that way. So let's pick up some water here. Got some water, and let's put it on the bean sprout. Alright, now we can go up. So that's one kind of bean sprout. This is another kind of bean sprout here. We'll be getting to that in just. Whoops, I broke the sign. We'll be getting to that in just a moment. Okay. Watch out for these things. They look nice and soft and cuddly. They're not. And we got some Tektites here. That's a new enemy. Um, yeah, these will hurt you. I have enough parts I can take that damage. Um, let's see. Oh, whoa. Okay. So, um, there's going to be a, uh, another bean sprout up ahead, but it's going to be green instead of blue, so we're going to want this, um, uh, this green, uh, mineral water that's up ahead. I got some red choo-choo's in here. For some reason in this game, the red choo-choo's duck down when, in, uh, the Wind Waker, they did not. It's kind of different. Um, okay. This is a different warp, uh, or, uh, portal to shrink down. And, of course, you can't skip it because Ezlo's gonna be like, Hey! This is a, look at this a thing! And it looks kind of cool on the inside, I guess. 
Though this perfectly no normal looking stone was another portal to the Minish world. I suppose I would have remembered that if I'd stopped to think about it. Oh uh, yeah, thanks, Ezlil. Some more Muldozers in here. I checked, these guys are called Muldozers. I have not yet posted. Um. Whoa! Oh, that's different. Um, I, that's not on my cartridge version. I don't know where the, these rocks are coming from. It's weird. Oh, great. Yeah, let's be dumb and just fall into the water. So this is Cornell Hot Spring Water. It's piping hot, apparently. And usually you don't want to water plants with hot water because it will actually kill them, so... So remember that, kids. Don't water plants with hot water. So, and we're gonna move on this way. Oh, so one thing you should know about uh, these things, you can actually suck them up like the, the, dust, the dust clouds in the, um, in the, <laughs> in the deep wood shrine. Oh, shoot, uh, shield. There you go. Don't think he has any, okay, you got me. So I need bombs, 10 of them for 30 rupees, so what do you say? I don't need bombs. Get lost. So he can fuse kinstones. Um, I, I picked up one kinstone. Oh, I actually can fuse it. Um, I'm not gonna do this right now because I currently don't have a piece of paper nearby me that I can uh, tally uh, kinstone fusions on. So um, we will be doing that next episode. Or when we get back from uh, the... from the... from the dungeon at the top of this mountain. Alright. And here's another one of those mushrooms. Bring yourself across. Okay. Oh, here we have a new enemy, and I think Ezlo's gonna tell us about him. Once you pulled off their iron mask, these guys are no trouble whatsoever. So you... I thought, like, there are other games where these guys have appeared where you use, like, uh, the magnetic gloves to pull their masks off. I think it might have... Oh, whoa. It might have been, like, in uh, the Four Swords game. Four Swords Game Boy game where they give you um, magnetic gloves or something. I don't remember. But... They're really easy once you take the masks off. You could also try to hit them from behind, like um, like the Dark Nuts from the original Legend of Zelda, but like that's hard. It was hard in the original Legend of Zelda, so you probably don't want to do that here. All right, what's out here? Oh, great. Oh, this is fun. So this is a fun part of the game, and as I was going to tell us about. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, of course, how silly of me. Hey, my boy, jump into that vortex over there for me. I think I've got an idea. I think in my cartridge version, he said something like, heh, I wonder if this is a great idea or not, or something like that. Like he's kind of talking to himself or something. Okay, whoa. Come on. Okay. Um, I think we need to go up here, yes. don't think there there might be stuff down there that I'm completely I'm gonna go over there and check because I did not do that in my um, practice playthrough so there might be something over here I have no idea what's over here oh well, that would have been helpful to know. And I'm almost out of bombs now. Hopefully one of these chests has bombs in it. Or a blue kinstone piece. And then... 50 rupees. That was helpful. And we got ourselves another heart piece. I'm gonna make sure to go get that one on my practice file. Alright. Okay, so... Oh, dang it. So now we can head up here get my bombs off so I don't waste my last bomb. 
You're gonna wanna get rid of all these, uh, whatever they are. Oh. Yeah, because there's a bunch of secrets and stuff. Um. And over here we have a. I get. Yeah. So there's something up over there too that we're gonna, gonna need to um, shrink down and get. So let's head to the furthest one first and then we'll come back. Oh gosh. Yeah, as a minute, you can't walk over the rougher part of the ground. You can only walk on the smooth part. Oh boy. Okay. There we go. Forget what was in here. I think it was a chest with something in it. Yes. I think blue kinstone piece. I forget where you can find um, certain kingstone pieces. The green ones you can find in gra grass, and I guess the blue ones and the red ones you find in treasure chests. Dang it. There's more that- oh, dang it! There's m plenty more that we could have done in Castletown, including getting a chest with a kinstone piece in it, but I'm gonna save that for the kinstone episode. Ow! Okay. And this guy says, Water is life for Cornell beans. The blue beans grow when you pour water on them, but the green beans like Cornell hot spring water. Cornell hot spring water can be found only in a spring on Mount Cornell. Well, really, the spring is closer to the base of Mount Cornell. Um, and there's a red kinstone piece in that chest. I think I remember it in my... God dang it! Come on. Okay, hold on. Okay. I think I remember in my... Uh, my cartridge that they wouldn't they didn't call it Cornell hot spring water. They called it Cornell mineral water so oh Gosh, so you may have seen it on the, the Bigger screen, but there's this bean here. Oops. You lift it up and for some reason little tiny link can carry this big bean pod but like you're much bigger now, so you can't go under the, the sticks like you could before, so you have to walk around them. So, and then you carry it over here, and then you throw, and you put it in. So now we gotta get big again, and then put, um, put the, the spring water on the, on the bean. Mineral water just makes more sense to me, because it doesn't make sense that it would be hot for that long. I mean, it's fair, it's a volcano kind of thing, so maybe you would get hot spring water, but um, just because you're putting it on a bean, it would make more sense for it to be mineral water. Um, I think that, yeah, this is the, that's the way to the Cornell wall. We can't do, dang it. Can't do anything there just yet. So these guys with the rocks, until you get that special skill that I mentioned, you can't uh, break the rocks on their head like you can with the other guys. Dang it! So you have to take the rock off with the, um, with the gust jar. Dang it! Get over here, Choo Choo! Aw, oh, come on. Okay, um, I'm just gonna leave the rock alone. Hopefully none of them try to get me. I think there's one over there that's gonna try and get me, but... Um, up here... Last bomb. I probably do need to break those rocks then. And here... This is the way we're supposed to go. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's... Oh, I know where there's some bombs up ahead. We'll be okay. Oh, there's some bombs right here! And we're maxed out again. Okay. Blue kinstone piece. Um, let's see. Oh, right here. Okay, these guys. They can be a little bit problematic, so I'm gonna let them do that. You can't slice them when they, when they got their spikes out, so just be careful. Let's see. Come on. Okay. Let's blow up these rocks here. There's stones, cracked stones. I probably want my shield back. Okay. So you're gonna wanna push this one. 
Got him. Okay. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. Fly with Ezlo again. This is a lot like flying with the Deku Leaf and, and the Wind Waker. It's kind of fun. It's a little bit harder to control, though, than the, um, the Deku Leaf. It's, it feels a little slow. Um, let's see. Do we go up here? Now mines. I think so, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mount Cornell can be a little bit of a mess to try to figure out. Up there is the Cornell Mines, but we can't get there from here. So we're going to have to go the long way around. Besides, we need to see Malari first before we go to the mines. Let's see. Gas jar, take care of you. And all of you. Get, get back here. Quit trying to run. Get, get. Wow. This guy. And this pea hat. Oh, y'all need to die. There you go. Okay. Is there any guys under here? Oh, come on. Oh, okay. Um, and this is where we need to go. So, you might have seen these strange walls here. Well, we can't do anything with them just yet. And that's what this area is for. So, in here... Okay. Okay, you got me. Let me make it up to you. The Valor Skip Ring is just a perfect, for, just perfect for a young mountaineer like yourself. Climate style for only forty rupees. What a bargain! So, what do you say, huh? Sure. So you need this to to progress up the mountain. Thanks a lot. Whatever. Is there anything here useful for me? Just a bunch of bombs. Not really. Okay. Okay, let's climb up the mountain. So I believe, yes, there might be, actually there might not be something in here we can do yet. Yeah, we can't do this yet, so remember that for later. So we're gonna need to make our way back down, because we're need to he gonna head up, we're gonna have to head over to the Cornell wall that we saw earlier. That we saw on the sign earlier. We haven't seen the wall yet. And oh boy, the wall is big. And I missed. Okay. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay, do it. Oh, I don't need to be up here, dang it. <laughs> I wasted all that time for nothing. Okay. That back there was the shortcut to the bottom. Which we don't need to go back down to the bottom. This is the way we need to go. Oh, get back here. Okay. Alright. Here's the Cornell, the Cornell wall. Watch out for falling rocks. And you probably heard them a little bit earlier, so... This is rather a climb, and it's kind of a trick just to avoid all the, the boulders coming down at you. I'll take random paths and I walked right into that one. Hey, okay, come on. Alright. I think we should be good. As long as a random boulder doesn't come down and get me. Okay. Alright. And we have made it to the top of Mount Cornell. Whoa. Get back here. Okay. Down here's a guy that's pretty important. This is the, um, the Cornell Hermit, I believe is what he's called. So, um, yeah, he's got the Cornell Hermit. I left the world to pursue a life of quiet re reflection. You seem to be but a child, and you climb this forbidding mountain alone? I must reward your courage with a little information. Have you not seen strange patterned walls as you climb this mountain? Bombs! Bombs are the answer! And he can fuse kinstones with you. He actually has a lot of fusions that you can do with him. But once again, I'm going to leave and not fuse kinstones yet. Ah, come on. Um, let's see. Oh boy. Okay. 
Oh, come on! Okay, let's get rid of this rock guy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. So this is important for kinstone fusions later. Um, just in case you were wondering. Alright. Um, oh wow. Uh, I've spent a lot of- I've- I've gone well over time by now. Um, I think I'm gonna end the episode off here, so... Um, we are about halfway through the mountain, I think. Um, we've got a little bit more left to go before we make it to, um, to Malari. So, um, uh, that's where, what we'll be doing in the next episode. So, if you like this episode, please leave it a like. Um, and if you would like to see more, please subscribe. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.